At WorkOS, our singular goal is to make your app enterprise ready so that you can focus your time and resources on what you actually want to build, your core product. We love developers here and our product suite is aimed at creating developer joy when onboarding enterprise clients. In this demo, we'll highlight a few of our key products, Enterprise Single Sign-On, Directory Sync, and the WorkOS Admin Portal. To stay in the loop with all of our updates and releases, check out and subscribe to our changelog at workos.com slash changelog. Single sign-on unlocks the ability for users to log into your app with their company's identity provider, like Okta, Azure, or Google. It allows not only for a more secure way of authenticating, but also allows IT teams to manage access to a wide range of applications their employees use in an automated way. For these reasons, SSO is often the first and primary requirement by enterprise IT teams evaluating new vendors. You may be thinking, why not just build this ourselves? Which is a common question that comes up with any SaaS purchase valuation. Building SSO in-house gives you complete control, but the downside is that you end up building and maintaining integrations with every single identity provider your customers might use. And it pulls engineering resources away from core product goals. Outsourcing SSO to WorkOS allows you to move faster and spend less on dev resources in the long term and not worry about maintaining integrations. WorkOS takes this a step further and allows you to integrate once with our API and then support any identity provider that your current or future customers might bring to the table. We even offer generic SAML and OpenID Connect integrations, so even if your customer has built out their own identity provider, getting connected is a breeze. We even see proofs of concept put together in less than an hour. When an SSO connection is configured with WorkOS, from an end user's point of view, logging into your app doesn't look any different than any other app they are logging into with their identity provider. They will simply click a Login with SSO button, authenticate with their IDP, and then get dropped directly into your application. Adding SSO to your application with WorkOS is a very simple process. There are really only four steps. Install the SDK of your choice, set a couple of environment variables, and then make two API calls. The authentication endpoint targets the connection that is set up between WorkOS and your customer's identity provider and launches the auth flow hosted by the IDP. Since WorkOS doesn't store your user list or handle session management, you will need to persist an association between the user's organization and either the connection ID or organization ID to pass in when calling the authentication endpoint. Along with the connection ID, you will also need to pass in a redirect URI, which is the URL where WorkOS will return the authorization code after a successful user authorization. After the authorization is successfully completed, WorkOS will pass your application an authorization code to the redirect URI as a query parameter. This code can then be exchanged for a normalized JSON user profile. This is the profile object that WorkOS will return to your app after successful user authentication. This object is standardized to always include a user's first name, last name, ID, and email regardless of which identity provider is being used. The profile object will always include a raw attributes key, which will contain all the attributes that the IDP is sending over in the SAML response. So if there is an attribute that you need to use other than the user's name, email, or ID, you'll be able to find it there. Once the profile object is handed off to your application, it's up to you to handle the user sessions and store the user information in the way you see fit. This allows WorkOS to fit seamlessly into your existing architecture and even live side by side next to your existing username and password login flow. This approach also means that you are in control of your user data. WorkOS will only store the data needed to process the user authorization. Directory Sync by WorkOS powers automated user lifecycle management for your application. 
It allows you to build frictionless onboarding for entire organizations with real-time provisioning and deprovisioning of users based on changes happening in your customers' directories. With one simple integration with the WorkOS API, you'll unlock any directory provider, whether it's an identity provider like Okta or Azure AD, or an HRIS like Workday or Rippling. Before the end user even signs into your app for the first time, you'll have detailed user and group information in your system. This supercharges adoption of your application as users already have accounts set up before onboarding. You can see in our example here how we leverage the Directory Sync API to pull detailed user and group information, which is normalized into standard and easy to use JSON user objects, such as the user object you see here. You can also map standardized custom attributes so that your app can receive them in the same structure and syntax, regardless of what specific directory your customer uses. You simply define the custom fields in your configuration and then map them to individual directories. Implementation really couldn't be simpler. If you've already integrated the WorkOS library and have your environment variables set up, you can use endpoints like get directory user, list directory users, get directory group, or list directory groups to pull all of the user information that you need. Back in the dashboard, you can even easily access and search user information details by just clicking in. Setting up a webhook endpoint to use for provisioning and deprovisioning is a breeze as well. First, you input your webhook endpoint and select all events that you'd like to subscribe to for that endpoint. With any action taken within your user's directory, you'll receive the corresponding webhook that you can consume and act upon as needed. Our SDKs even have webhook validation methods built in to make consuming webhooks even easier. Anyone who has set up an SSO connection with an enterprise client knows that it typically requires a whole lot of back and forth between your team and your client's IT admin. You have to determine the protocol being used, like SAML or OpenID Connect. You need to account for the specific identity provider they use, of which there are many. And you typically need to exchange a lot of information like ACS URLs, signing certificates, entity IDs, and more. The WorkOS dashboard does allow you to set up a connection manually. This would still take a bit of back and forth with your client as you would need to provide them with the ACS URL and entity ID generated by WorkOS and have them send back a metadata URL for you to input. We do also provide guides for manual setup of all identity providers and directory providers in our documentation. The WorkOS admin portal solves this back and forth problem by providing your enterprise client with a step-by-step -step wizard that makes the entire onboarding process self-service. Your client's IT admin can do the entire setup with little or no work on your team's side. The admin portal provides in-depth and detailed instructions for virtually all potential identity providers to make setup as simple as possible for your clients. We also update these instructions constantly to ensure that your clients always have the most up-to-date information. You can also use the admin portal to set up directory sync connections with your enterprise clients. Whether they use a skim-based directory system or an HRIS, onboarding couldn't be simpler. Let's take a look at what this self-service experience would look like from the perspective of your client's IT admin or whoever is responsible for configuring SSO on their end. First, they would go to a link that you generate. This could be built into your UI and generated via a call to the WorkOS API. Or you can simply go to the WorkOS dashboard, copy a setup link, and send the link to the IT admin directly. On the landing page, you'll find options for an extensive list of identity providers, as well as generic SAML or OpenID Connect for more homegrown solutions. As an example, let's walk through steps for Okta. You can see on the first page how we give instructions and screenshots walking through every step. Since my SAML app is already created, 
I can go ahead and open it up, click Edit, and add the values for SSO URL and SP Entity ID provided right in the portal. Next, I'm shown exactly how to configure my attribute statements, which always differs based on the IDP your client is using. We will submit the little survey here. Next, we provision some users and groups to our SAML application, specifically those who we want to grant access to the app. Finally, we're shown exactly where to go to access the IDP metadata URL. Once we grab that from the identity provider and paste it into the portal, we can see that the SSO connection is successfully configured. You'll also receive webhooks when your client completes an SSO or directory sync connection to stay fully in the loop. Our developer success team is ready to help answer any of your technical questions, help unblock you at any step, and to provide information on other products in the WorkOS suite like MFA and Magic Links. You can reach out to us at support at workos.com and even request a shared Slack channel to get answers and help as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's time to cross the enterprise chasm.